Here are four things to be on the lookout for when working with a seller on either a rent to own or lease option. First of all, is the seller upfront and honest with you? Do you feel comfortable around them? Can you see yourself having a strong working relationship between yourself and the seller? Uh, are they willing to share the information and language that's in the contract and what it means? To tell you about the house and any things that may need to be repaired or that aren't right with the property? Answer any questions that you might have? And do they just really seem to be good for their word? Uh, secondly, do they seem to take a genuine interest in seeing you succeed and even purchasing that home? There will be sellers out there. It's probably more of a minority, but they, they run buyers through the whole process with the intention to ha never have them buy, uh, either by having really unrealistic expectations in the terms or something that basically makes it really hard for you to be able to refinance and purchase that home. So you want to make sure that they're on your side, that they want to see you succeed, they want to see you purchase that home, and they're not just trying, to, you're just not another number in the system. Um, again, probably a minority of people, but something to keep your eyes out for. Third, will they negotiate within reason? There might be certain terms that you're not comfortable with or things that you want changed or that you want to work on so that it's a win for both sides. You, want, you don't want this just to be a win for the seller. This is also going to be a win for you and that both of you can come to an agreement where both sides are comfortable and you can see this being really a good deal uh, for all parties involved. And finally, are they open to you receiving legal advice and guidance? Or do they seem closed off to that or a little bit anxious about you asking to run the contract by your attorney or getting advice from your agent? Um, you also, you know, as we mentioned in other trainings, that you, you want to take the time to discuss loan options and, and speak with other companies, loan companies that uh, to explore your current situation and how realistic is it for you to be purchasing this home in a few years. You, you need to really assess, do your homework, and research what all is involved with this to make sure that th this isn't something that you're just jumping into with no hope of ever buying the home. You really you want to only be going into this if you can see it being a very realistic option. Uh, a lot of buyers don't do that and end up not actually moving forward with the option because they didn't prepare ahead of time. So, <clears throat> so keep the, keep a lookout for these things. Make sure that you and the seller are on the same page and that you have a good working relationship uh, that you can trust them and also um, make sure that you're you're getting everything you need to move forward with this deal.